Chris Wharton knows all about the curse of unwanted cold calls. He's changed his number but still receives up to five a day. It's an invasion of your privacy. You know, you don't want that sort of thing to happen in your household. I'm a pensioner, I live on my own. And you pick the phone up thinking it's an important conversation you're going to have and it's some idiot trying to sell you double glazing or some, you know, solar panels or whatever. Chris doesn't know which solar panel firm contacted him, but today Glasgow-based Home Energy and Lifestyle Management, Helms, were fined a record £200,000 after making six million automated calls about solar panels. They broke the rule which states only people who've opted in to automated calls from named companies should receive them. Helms accept that they have made a terrible mistake. They misconstrued the regulations, they're ignorant of the law, that is not a defence. We made that abundantly plain to the Information Commissioner. To complicate things, the rule on voice calls from real salespeople is different. To stop those, you need the telephone preference service. At this call centre, they pride themselves on following all the guidelines and welcomed news of that record fine. It will show consumers that if companies are flouting regulations, they can be fined. And it, hopefully it will say to companies who are not necessarily thinking about am I uh, conforming to regulation or not, it will hopefully make them think twice before they go out and flout regulations like this business has and therefore have an overall improvement across the sector. The message to consumers like Chris is try to be proactive. Seek to protect your number if cold calling leaves you cold. Peter Lane, 5 News.